What's up everybody, 915 Mang here. Gonna do a video on some Reef Roids by Polyp Labs. They didn't pay me or anything like that. I ordered this stuff from Marine Depot and I wanted to see what all the hype was about this coral food, if it's worth it. And I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know in this video. I'm gonna go ahead and zoom in on the food itself. You can see that it's powdery. You might be thinking, do I really need to feed my corals? And I would go ahead and say yes. Uh, the reason why is because they are actual animals. Now are the corals going to die if you don't feed them? The answer is no. They get a lot of their food source from the light through photosynthesis. But I am going to go ahead and get some tank water. And I am going to go ahead and mix them up in, the, in this. And then I'm going to go ahead and target feed the corals. I've used a lot of different products from Reef Chili to uh, Coral Frenzy. And now... Uh, polyp lab reef roids and I wanted to see what the big deal is and while mixing it you can see the particles are really tiny um, some of the tiniest particles that I've seen from a coral food a lot of old school reefers will tell you you don't need this stuff uh, the fish poop by itself will take care of the corals but you know what I'm a new reefer and I want to try new things so that's why I've been using target feeding with the coral food you can see from this video that I fast forward my uh, Miami Hurricane, the chalice. You can see that it's actually moving the food around. The eyes, the different color eyes are changing and closing and opening up. And uh, I sped up this video so you can see it a little bit easier. If you're going to target feed, the easiest way to do it is with a siphon, a turkey baster, and fit some RO tubing in there. I used a C squirt in this video. And I also turned off all the flow. You can see that everything likes it. The zoas, the chalices, and the fish eat it. It doesn't matter what brand you use. The zoas and the fish are always going to eat the uh, food. Now on a scale of 1 to 5, 1 being junk and 5 being outstanding, I'd give this a 5. Uh, the reason why is just because of the particles are really fine. And a lot of corals can benefit from using this. Um, I've been using this for quite a while. I didn't just buy it and make a video. I've actually been using it for over a month now. And uh, it's been doing great. Uh, corals are very reactive to it. They eat it up. You can see the blastos uh, like it. And uh, another piece of coral that I have was my uh, green and purple torch. I picked this up from Tim. It wasn't so green and purple until I started using this uh, coral food, which is the reason why I give it a five. Now I do want to go ahead and mention, it wasn't overnight, it was o over several weeks that it started turning nice and purple again. Uh, things don't just happen right away. Uh, the only thing that happens right away in this hobby is disaster. You know, good things take a little bit of time, they build up to it until you're eventually there. Now I am curious of how many people actually target feed their corals uh, how long have you been doing it what brand do you guys use and uh, if you guys like this stuff or if you guys think it's junk personally I, I like it um, like I said the fish like it the corals seem to react very well to it and it's not too uh, overly priced it's just about right I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here I hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure you guys like and subscribe Leave uh, your comments down below and I'll get back with you. Thanks for watching and you guys take care.